My name is Esteban, we are All American Print Supply. What is sublimation? Sublimation is gonna be a chemical process in which we take a solid object and then under high temperature or other elements, we're gonna turn it into a gas. Now with sublimation ink, this gas that we print and then transfer onto either polyester fabric or specially treated items or substrates, it's then gonna dye the surface of these items. Now when I say sublimation substrate, I'm referring to the objects that we're gonna be transferring onto. Most commonly, you'll probably see drinkware, but these are gonna range from ornaments, dog tags, uh, magnets, all sorts of different items. What makes these substrates unique is that they're treated with an invisible polymer film coating. That's what's gonna allow that sublimation ink under high heat, once turned into a gas, to physically dye the surface of these products. So one of the big pluses is this is gonna be a permanent process. It's gonna be dishwash, microwavable safe. So for today, we're gonna to be doing a live demonstration on kind of an outside the box sort of sublimation blank. It's actually gonna be a towel. So these towels are gonna to be kind of a mixed blend of cotton and polyester. Now remember, the higher percentage of your polyester, the higher the quality of your final print, ideally 100% and ideally white. One thing to know about sublimation is that it does not print the color white. So it's gonna be relying on either the background of our products or items, or uh, the surface of what we're gonna be transferring onto. So most commonly you will see sublimation blanks that are already prepped in white, sometimes kind of a brushed aluminum, but just please always know the background of your item will be the color white in anything that you're printing. So at All American Print Supply, we're proud to offer a wide range of sublimation printers in different sizes, fit for different budgets, and for different production volumes. I would definitely say our most popular right now is gonna be the Epson 170. Lowest ink prices in the industry. Each one of these four colors, CMYK, are gonna be available at $18 per color, and you're gonna be receiving 140 milliliters. The savings on here, the profitability, and we're not converting printers. When people are converting inkjet printers to run sublimation, that's not what the machine was built for. It doesn't have internal maintenance to handle that sort of ink formula. It may work, like I said, different levels of success, and if you're printing all the time, you know, hey, more power to you. But if you are looking for a value-packed machine that's built for sublimation, for sublimation, with some of the best ink prices, like I said, in the business, I would look no further than the Epson line. Next up from the 170 would be the Epson 570. Same ink formula, same ink pricing, same ink manner in which we load. This top pop comes off right here and you have quick access to load each of the different colors and it's an auto stop. So you literally just load the bottle on, it'll fill until you get to the completion line, take it off, no mess. And these ink colors are actually coded, meaning I can't put yellow into cyan or I can't magenta into black. So it's very user friendly, very foolproof. And then for you big volume, high production people out there, we do offer the 44 inch. Of course, I'm talking about the Epson F6370. Great machine, even better ink pricing. It's kind of almost a bulk system. So we've come to find some kind of tips and tricks to help us get the best final product with our results. You may notice that your prints actually come out a little faint or maybe not as vibrant. That's because for sublimation, we don't need to really soak the page. It's really gonna be the heat, high temperature with the right uh, pressure setting that's gonna activate this and give us a vibrant final product. One of the most common issues people run into when doing sublimation transfers is getting kind of an impression, like a rectangular box. Quick and easy way to combat that is to kind of tear around the edges of your print. By doing so, you're having kind of a smooth transition rather than this hard line. Tear around the edge. And as you can see, it's not tearing in a very perfect line. You can kind of see full double layer of the transfer paper is to the edge that's actually gonna be making contact. Now, another thing to know about sublimation, before you send the job, always, always, always mirror your image or print it backwards or reversed. If you have the Epson F170, 570, or larger 6370, the print driver will actually automatically flip this for you, but it's always good to take a quick preview. Now, another helpful supply item when doing any of your sublimation transfers, and this is gonna to apply to either fabric or hard surface, is gonna be heat tape. Heat tape is a temp temperature resistant adhesive that will keep your print transfer in place, but won't melt or discolor. So I'm gonna show you right now how easy this is to use and how it does not stain or discolor our fabrics. Before we got started today, I was adjusting my pressure because again, for sublimation, we don't need to crush the heck out of our transfers. It's mainly the contact for the right amount of time at the right amount of temperature. So on our website, on any of our sublimation blanks that we offer, you'll have time, temperature, and pressure settings for your recommended transfers using sublimation printing. 
So for today, I'm gonna to be pressing this at about 385 and we're gonna give it one minute. And you'll usually be operating, I'd say between 385 to 400 degrees, depending on what we're transferring and time will vary substrate to substrate. Today we're gonna to be making a little bit more of an outside the box. This is kind of like a hand towel, 65-35 blend. So it's not 100% polyester. So we're gonna see just how good this comes out. The very first thing you wanna always do is what's called the pre-press. We're just gonna have this set and we're gonna be basically ironing the surface of what we're gonna be going on to. You know, from packaging, or storage, garments, fabrics, towels, might have moisture, but definitely probably wrinkles in the material. So all we've done so far is just kind of lay the fibers down nice and flat. And this is also a great time to check on our pressure. You don't, again, want to be crushing the heck out of these. So after we've gone ahead, adjusted our pressure, we got our time and temperature settings on here. Now it's time to position this where we want this to go onto our blank. We're just gonna place this where we want to. Try to keep equal distance if you are going for a medium positioning. So when I apply this one at a time, I'm holding holding it with my free hand where I want the transfer to be, and then with my other, just kind of tacking it into place. And with the heat tape, a little bit does go a long way. I'm gonna be using only two pieces just to keep this in place for me. Before we actually close it, we wanna protect our heating element, whether it's wet pre-treat, printed white toner laser transfers, sublimation ink. I don't want any of this on my heating element. So a quick, easy way to keep that protected, we're gonna be using this thick double-sided coated sheet. Uh, this is gonna be more of kind of like a craft paper. It does have sort of a silicone coating to kind of give it a little bit of a non-stick property, but we're just gonna go ahead and place this right over our item here. And we've got our time and temperature all we already dialed in. Again, guys, we mentioned we're gonna be operating at about 385 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna give this a press for one minute. So I'm just gonna to go ahead and drop the hammer and we're gonna get the countdown going. We got about 50 seconds left. Some of the common questions we usually get about sublimation is, can I do dark fabric? That's gonna be a no. Sublimation is gonna be intended mainly for white or very light products. There's no white ink in here. So any white you need is gonna come from your background of your item, your fabric, your hard surface products. So no dark materials. And that gives us our one minute there. Now the reason we're not touching this just yet one, it is very hot. Second, we talked about this is a chemical process turning a solid into a gas. When we're done completing this, when we release the temperature and the pressure, we wanna give it, I'd say, roughly half a minute just to let that settle into there. As that gaseous ink is settling onto your product, if we move or shift it, it can distort visually. and You'll see it right away. So be patient, maybe take this off to the side, let it start to get back to normal room temperature. Yeah, this is good. So I feel with the time that we've given the transfer to cool down, we've given the ink plenty of time to settle onto our substrate, which is again, a 65-35 poly cotton blend hand towel. So let's go ahead and do the peel. I'm gonna take a sneak peek first before I show you guys. I'm just kidding, I nailed it. All right guys, this came out solid. As we can see, the kind of more faint violet or lighter purple has gotten to a much richer, truer tone, much closer to what we had in our print software. And as you can see, we printed it backwards because once pressed face down, now it's clearly legible and readable here. So I'm really happy with how this came out. Sublimation is a permanent process. You're dyeing literally the surface of these items. You can't feel it. You can't touch it. It's not sitting on top. It can't be scratched away. It won't be weathered away. Again, dishwasher and microwavable safe. Very soft, really cool. But I think that's just gonna wrap it up. Just wanted to get to check in with you guys, give you a fun little holiday project, another idea you can offer. There's really low limits whether it's a hard surface item like these beautiful ceramic ornaments here or a fun little hand towel that you can customize and personalize. You saw how quick and easy it was. And at these savings, maybe you can't afford to not be offering sublimation in your print setup. Uh, for more information on any of these products, processes, or supplies, make sure you head over to the website, aaprintsupplyco.com, and make sure while you're there you register an account. Because if you make your purchases while logged in, You'll begin to accrue points back on every dollar spent, and these will build up in our loyalty rewards program, good towards future items on the website. And once again, the YouTube channel, guys. Make sure you stay tuned. We got a lot of fun projects, new toys coming out, new trips we've been taking, trade show seasons coming up, and tons of walkthroughs, tutorials, and product spotlights. So when you're there, hit that subscribe button, tap the post notification bell, drop some thumbs up, and if you have any questions or comments, leave that in the section below. I'll probably be getting into those personally, but I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. My name is Estevan, we're All American Print Supply. From all of us here, I hope you have a safe, we'll see you on the next one.